Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. All right, in the last episode, we took on Will, the first Elite Four member in this rematch run of the Elite Four. In this episode, we're going to take on Koga again. Wahaha! -ha. I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in uh, Shadows and Ninja. My intricate sky will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Wahaha! -ha. Pokemon are not merely about brute force, you shall see soon enough. Okay, and let's do this, Koga! Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, there he is! He is really a ninja! Anyway, Koga is going to be up with a Scum Tank, level 61, it's Poison Dark type, with the ability Aftermath, with the most toxic dig, sucker punch, and explosion. This thing can hit you pretty hard if it uses explosion. Basically, explosion is a 250 power move. And we will have your defense for that turn when it uses explosion. So, watch out for that. And because it uses dig, earthquake power is double, so just keep that in mind. If you have any Pokemon with earthquake, that will work out great for you against Scum Tank. Overall, Scum Tank isn't really too bad if you have anything super effective to hit it. But, Koga's next Pokemon is going to be his Venomoth, level 63, bug poison type, with ability tint and lens, with the most bad on pass, double team. Silver Wind and Psychic. So, this Venomoth can be quite annoying because it may use Double Team and then it can Baton Pass uh, those Double Teams. Basically, what Baton Pass does, it uh, said it don't, it uh, Baton Pass says status changes to uh, the Pokemon he wants to send out. So, that can be quite annoying if, he says, if you let him set up too many Double Teams. But overall, Venomoth. It isn't really too bad, I mean, you've seen me use one. But this Venomoth isn't really too bad. Just, just, just watch out so it will not use too many uh, double teams. Anyway, his next Pokemon is going to be his Swallow, level 62. It's poison type, with the ability Sticky Hole, holding Leftover, with the most Sludge Bomb, Amnesia, Pain Split, and Yawn. It would have been pretty nice if you can actually steal Swallow's uh, Leftover, so you could have some for yourself, but... Unfortunately, because of the ability sticky, sticky hold, you can't steal it or you can't knock it off, so that's quite unfortunate, I must say. But Swallowed is a really that powerful of a Pokemon. I mean, it may set up some amnesias and pain split away, but if you're faster than Swallowed, you shouldn't really have too much problem with Swallowed. So I'm just going to go for a second Earthquake. That Quick Claw before didn't matter at all because I'm already faster than it, so what can you do? And Earthquake is going to be able to take out that Swallow easily. Like, really easily. And Slasher grew to level 56. Pretty nice, I must say. See, Koga's next Pokemon is going to be his Toxic Rogue, level 60, Poison Fighting type, with the ability Dry Skin, with the most Swagger, Exisor, Crush Off, and Gunk Shot. Now, Toxic Crow can be a little bit of a pain because it has quite a wide range of moves. But uh, it's four times weak against Psychic type moves. So if you have any of that and you're faster than Toxic Crow, which you might not be, but you should take it out to one hit. And with the ability Dry Skin, don't try to use any War type moves against it because it will not work. It will actually heal itself. But Fire type moves are uh, like powered up. It will do more damage, basically. And anyway, his next Pokemon is going to be his main Pokemon, his Crobat, level 64. Poison Flying type, which puts the inner focus with the most Fly, Cross, Poison, Mean Look, and Toxic. This Crobat is overall not that difficult. I mean, it doesn't have double team, so... You should really have too much trouble with this Crobat. I mean, it can be annoying, it can lock you in and use Toxic, so it will wear you down, but... Honestly, you should have something to uh, attack this Crobat with. It's only attacking moves, it's flying cross poison, so... Honestly, Crobat isn't as hard as it was the uh, first time around when it, used, when it uses double team and such stuff. And thank you for using me, look, I don't even care. And this shards is going to take down his Crobat, which leaves Koga with only one Pokemon left, actually. Critical it didn't need it, but still nice. Still nice. And me screwed to level 59. 
They're growing up so fast, I must say. So Koga's last Pokemon is going to be his Muck! Level 62, Poison type, with the ability Sticky Hold, holding Black Sludge, with the most minimized Screech, Swagger, and Toxic. Now, this Muck doesn't have any move that can indirectly hit you. It only has moves that can like lower your defense, uh, raises evasiveness, it can toxic you, it can use swagger, but it can't indirectly hit you. It doesn't have any attacking moves. So, this mug shouldn't be too hard at all. I mean, the only thing annoying is uh, minimize. Oh no, it survived! And uh, that's the same ability as Wallop, so you can't steal its uh, item that is holding, which is Black Sludge, but you you, you can find Black Sludge in the uh, Cerulean Cave. Oof! What did you say, oof again? Oh, come on, he's going to use the Forest Storm. It's going to be annoying like that. Hate you, Koga. I don't like you for that. I don't like you for that. And I think I use Shadow Claw just because I don't want it uh, to be at uh, red health again, so we can use another Forest Storm. But I, I don't know if this muck is actually going to be living this earthquake that I'm going to throw at it now. Yes, I'm throwing an earthquake at it. What you gonna do about it, muck? What you gonna do? You're just a big pile of sludge. But it takes it up with a really nice... And that was Koga! In my opinion, the easiest of the lead four in the rematches. Ah, oh, you're proving your worth! Get some nice, nice money. Anyway, that will get from every rematch, basically. It's a big to everything I could master. But my efforts fail. I must hold my skills. Go on to the next room. Put your build this this. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a rating that you think this video deserves. Make sure to leave a comment or follow the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.